So recently we looked at uh, one script to fetch the voter count and uh, voters, the actual voters. In continuation of that video, I also want to talk about uh, watchers. Now watchers are basically people who are watching the issue and uh, usually these people will or can get uh, some notifications if you have configured of course the notification scheme so basically if let us say there is an issue and usually in an issue you have a reporter you have uh, you, you have a reporter and you have an assignee but apart from reporter and assignee you may want to notify a few other people now right now in this particular issue i am talking about scrum 14 uh, we do have some watchers so we can also fetch the list from uh, uh, from a script now I'll be using of course a uh, script runner for Jira and uh, the script is basically same as uh, more or less same as uh, what we wrote for uh, fetching the voters. Now I'll be using a component accessor so I'll type in component accessor dot uh, uh, so the good thing about IntelliJ is that uh, if you are trying to do something let us say with watchers you can you, you can actually uh, type in watcher manager or just start typing and it will give you some uh, suggestions or recommendations so we do have some something like watcher manager and if you now look within what watcher manager you can uh, then take a look at uh, a function called get watchers or get watcher count so let us first take a look at the watcher count I will pass in my issue which is right now hard coded as uh, scrum 14 and uh, I may want to create a variable here called uh, watch uh, watch account maybe I think yeah it makes sense and uh, I will simply use a log dot debug and I will print this so something like this watch uh, count so we are basically doing the same thing that we did for uh, voters but of course uh, watchers are different now this list th this looks good and uh, on this particular issue scrum 14 we do have i think uh, four watchers so let us see if uh, we are able to run this script successfully or not it should be working let me take a look at the log and it says uh, watch account 4 indeed and uh, we can do of course more things maybe maybe I want to also print uh, the actual list of those watchers so I will again use component accessor but instead of using get watch account I will look for a function like get watchers and you have to pass two parameters one is issue itself and the second one is uh, lo user locale which we have defined uh, which we also did for the uh, other script where we worked with the voters so you can define the locale uh, like this simply uh, you know define language for example as English now we have it should return the the, the, the list of watchers so I will uh, use a method or not a method but I'll declare it first and then I will print it so watchers maybe is equal to the list of users that we just fetched and log.debug I will type in here uh, watchers colon and maybe I want to type here uh, watchers which is now a list of application users and we can iterate over it by using asterisks and uh, if I want to display name I can do this star.name so it will basically go through all the watchers and it will display their names so let us run this script now and uh, the the process is more or less same as what we did for the voters and uh, now we have the list so it's a very simple script but it can be useful and of course as I mentioned before you can always take a look at uh, watcher manager and uh, if you type in here get you can see what else you can do like uh, get watchers unsorted get watcher user keys so I think this is quite useful I think uh, 
all we need to do is i think all we were interested in was to fetch the list of users and when you have the list of users it is nothing but application users and you can do of course further things with that so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much